Let's talk about the north-south face-off that has been triggered because this particular face-off is over center's fund allocation and it refuses to die down with the India bloc raising the heat on the center. Top leaders of the Karnataka government are set to stage a protest today in Delhi's Jantar Mantar with the Chief Minister of Karnataka, Siddharamaya and Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shivkumar all set to lead this particular agitation. And all of this will be followed by another protest by Kerala's left government in the capital on Thursday as well, which would see the presence of the Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan. But let's start with what's expected today, because the Karnataka unit of the Congress will stage a protest at Jantar Mantar in the national capital, with top leaders expected to take part in this particular agitation. The Chief Minister has also appealed to union ministers from Karnataka as well as MPs to join this particular protest, as they allege that grave injustice is being meted out on the part of uh, the center when it comes to devolution of taxes. Congress, Sarkara, Pattu Paksha, Kundu Pattu Patni, Na, Kendra Sarkara, Da, Gamana Vona Shalili Koskara, Idresha Da, Jendra Gamana Vona Shalili Koskara, It is not against the BJP party, by Congress party. The Rajkiya Pratipatni Alla. Gali Nanu Prastapa Madhavate, Idi Deshwa Jemsa Gamana Vona Shalika Kunam Gajata Kantana Idabake, Malata Idura Debake, Kedra Sarkar Vinda. Adkas Vanchi Nilagata Kanta Tarata Midabake, Bargal Delhi, नमकी तोर सी तक चंता मलता ही दोरे ने पक्के ये कारण गल गोस करवाएगी ना वो ये प्रतिबंध नहीं है ना हम कंडी सी वी हैव टू प्रोटेक्ट द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ कर्नाटका कर्नाटका आवर टैक्स इज़ आवर राइट it is the, in the interest of Karnataka, whatever we are losing from this center, it has to be set it right. Whatever has been promised to the Karnataka, whatever the budget has been announced to Karnataka, we have not got the funds as per this one. We are the second highest tax payers in this country. We feel that injustice is being given to us and let them rectify it, let them set right it and let them go. No money on draught. What is this? So we are fighting. We, our voice has to be heard by the center. Senior Congress leaders from the state of Karnataka, including Chief Minister Siddharamaya and Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shiv Kumar, have arrived in the national capital to hold a protest on Wednesday at Jantar Mantar at 11 a.m. against center not procuring funds for drought relief and tax devolution is what center has been, state has been alleging. And in fact, state has also been alleging that center is doing this deliberately. It is a political motive. But in fact, center is denying all these allegations and in fact, uh, mentioning that it is the state who is making this entire issue political and that it does not discriminate between any of the state. But tomorrow, Perhaps it will be a big day because all the senior leaders will be coming here at Jantar Mantar from where we are reporting right now. And perhaps that is why the reason is that this entire area has been barricaded, cordoned off and in fact security will be deployed over here since morning because all the senior leaders from the state of Karnataka and of course from Delhi will also be joining the protest, will be raising uh, their voices against the centre, not procuring them the funds. But apart from that also, remember that white paper is also to be tabled on the last day of budget session on UPA's economic mismanagement. So certainly there will be a big day because on one hand here the leaders will be protesting and on the other hand BJP will be tabling the white paper. Now we'll have to see that how this entire protest unfolds and how BJP reacts to this protest. With camera person Mahindra, I am Tejshri four times now from Delhi. But viewers, let's talk about what has led to this particular protest. The Karnataka government claims that it's facing challenges because of reduced tax devolution and has faced a loss of over 45,000 crore rupees in the last four years. And they also claim that Karnataka is only receiving 13 rupees for every 100 rupees it contributes in the form of taxes. The state government also claims that at least 5,400 crore rupees as part of special grants haven't been released. 
and also 17,000 crore rupees for droughts as well. Now, citing these charges, the Congress has decided to hit the streets against the center in the heart of the national capital. We have released uh, much money and we have exhausted our money also. So now we have made a request to the uh, to be funds to be released in the NDRF. What and is what is the reason, sir, that you think that the funds are not being released by the central no, government? No, we have made uh, the still there is a committee headed by the Home Minister. Till now, the committee has not met and may, may release money. That is a, our sincere effort and appeal to the government of India to release the funds as per the disaster management. That is, we are both the government of India and the state government are bound to uh, re release that uh, money as per that act. See, the, our finance minister from Karnataka, Nirmal Sitarapan, is from Karnataka. We have 25 BJP MPs. What they are doing? So it's been more than four months. Not even a single rupee has been released to Karnataka. Shame on them. They are doing politics. Pure politics because in Karnataka, from last seven months, whatever we had promised, guarantees we have, we have fulfilled. There is a report in Karnataka, Congress is going to win more than 20 seats. That's why they are trying to create confusion. They want the people should blame us. But we are fighting for a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. We are paying so much tax, but we are not getting. So they definitely, they are creating confusion. What has to Karnataka has to get, we are not getting. Entirely after losing the assembly elections, their attitude and approach towards Karnataka is something unheard of. We have, they have sent, we have sent 25 BJP MPs to Lok Sabha. No one has spoken to this day about the injustice done to Karnataka in terms of uh, funds. So that's how uh, it has fallen on the deaf ears of the Prime Minister. But so the Finance Minister says that the funds have already been released to all the states as and when required. She's right. She has released the funds to all BJP states. She has not released to the states, especially Karnataka and the southern part of the country. You can just go through the uh, complete data. You will find, find that how injustice has been done to the state of Karnataka. Well, the center on its part has uh, hurled the rule book right back at the Karnataka government. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitraman says the tax devolution only follows the recommendations of the Finance Commission and the state cannot blame the center for running out of funds. The finance minister further went on to brand the Congress's allegations as politically motivated and vitiated narrative by groups with vested interests. Have you started spending on items which you were not supposed to spend? I'm not even questioning that. Do spend it. But don't put the blame on me. Don't put the blame on the center because it goes by the rule book. It has to give it. It will give. If the expenditure are going into areas which cannot be sustained by your budget. I am not answerable for that. Introspect, please. I can't do as long as the Finance Commission doesn't tell me to do. Constitutionally, unless the Finance Commission tells me to do something, I cannot. Well, the Finance Minister's counter-viewers were soon backed up by other ministers in the Union Cabinet as well, who went on to claim that Congress's sole intention is to divide the country on north and south and is keen on dividing uh, the country further with their Delhi Chalo protest. Congress ka manas kata hai desh ko divide kare. Tote. Isi liye BK Suresh Congress ka manas kata kya hai usko bataya hai. Kyunki pehle se Congress aise kiya hai. Azadi ka sandar mein bhi West Pakistan, East Pakistan, को किया बाद में हमारा जमीन को पाकिस्तान को दिया चीना को दिया उसको कुछ नहीं लगा अभी भी साउथ और नॉर्थ को डिवाइड करना चाहते हैं ये कांग्रेस का मानसिकता है झूठे आरोप लगा रहे हो रेवेन्यू को आधार लेकर के आंकड़े बोल रहे हैं कि कोई भेदभाव नहीं किया नरेंद्र मोदी जी के सरकार ने 10 साल में साउथ का राज्य हो नॉर्थ ईस्ट का हो उत्तरा उत्तरी भारत का राज्य हो हमारी सरकार है या हमारी सरकार कहीं नहीं है कहीं भेदभाव नहीं किया फिर भी आप झूठे आरोप लगा रहे हो फिर देश तोड़ने जैसी बात कर रहे हो वेन वी कंपेयर यूपीए टेन ईयर्स एंड टेन ईयर्स ऑफ नरेंद्र मोदी फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड फोर टू फोर्टीन यूपीए मनमोहन सिंह एंड सिद्धरामैया गवर्नमेंट 
the devolution of fund was 81,795. And uh, between 2014 and 24, that is Narendra Modi's period, it is 2,82,791, almost 2 lakh crore more. This is hiding. Second thing is that uh, grant in aid, it was uh, between 2004 and 14, only 60,779. Whereas from 2014 to 24, as, as on December, it is 2,8,082. But this is not all. The Kerala government has cited similar concerns and is hence preparing to stage another protest like this one in the national capital a day later. That is on the 8th of February on Thursday. The protest is also likely to witness the participation of MPs from the DMK. Uh, there is a political political issue there. This is uh, actually the states which are not ruled on by the union government. There is some kind of uh, this kind of uh, discrimination. That is what we feel. I feel that is why I said this is political that way. It is um, actually the the difference is BJP ruled states and non BJP ruled states. This is the issue.